Greg's, the most popular bakery chain here in the UK, and it recently launched its Christmas festive menu with brand new items. And I'm gonna be trying all those new items in this video today. So this is your typical Greg store with your usual items like your sandwiches, pasties and desserts, but we're here specifically for the Christmas festive items. So let's get some and try them out. I'm now back in a car. I've got nine of their brand new items. So let me show you exactly what I got try them out and let you know if you should get them too. The first item that I got was the festive bake. Now this sounds amazing on the menu because it's filled with chicken, bacon, sage and onion stuffing and cranberry sauce. Let's give this a taste. Mmm, that's delicious. Okay so this festive bake is amazing. You bite into it, you get the crispy crumb on the outside get the chicken on the inside and you can definitely taste the sage and stuffing flavor in there. There's a little bit of sweetness from the cranberry too which you can definitely taste and this makes for a great festive bake. This cost £1.80 and I think it's worth every penny. Mm. So next up I've got the vegan festive bake and this is just like the normal festive bake but without the meat. I think they substitute it with corn instead of the chicken and some sort of corn instead of the bacon as well. So let's give this a taste. Here it goes. Mm. I didn't get much filling on that bite. Let me go for another one. It's not bad. You can taste the flavor of the sage and onion stuffing. You can taste the sweetness of the cranberry as well. I think I did get a piece of the corn as well. It was quite meaty in texture, but I think the flavor wasn't quite there. This cost £1.80 as well. And I think if you're a meat eater, you should definitely go for the regular festive bake. If you're a vegan, I think this is a good option for you. So next up, I've got the vegan free turkey and stuffing baguette. Let's open this up and see what it's like. So inside, this has got sage and onion, plant-based goujons, cranberry and port sauce with onions. Let's give it a taste. Okay, so you get a great crunch from the baguette when you bite into it. You can definitely taste the cranberry sauce in there. The vegan goujons in there definitely have a bit of a meaty texture and you can taste a slight flavor of the sage and onion as well. So not bad as well. So this was £3.50 in price and you get these from the fridge and you have to ask for these to be warmed up. So don't forget that step. So next up, I think this is my favourite item of the day. The Pigs Under Blankets Baguette. Let's try this out. So inside this should be bacon, sausage, cranberry sauce and stuffing. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so this is definitely my favorite thing that I've tried today. This is amazing. Mmm. You bite into it, you get that really crispy, crunchy baguette. On the inside, you can taste the flavors of the sausage and the bacon that are a little bit salty. You've got the cranberry sauce, which is really sweet as well. And then you've got the stuffing inside, which adds that sage flavor. This is so good. Hmm. So this cost £3.50 as well, and if you see this in Greg's, you should definitely get one. I'm feeling a little bit thirsty now, so I got a salted caramel latte. So this is a regular latte with salted caramel syrup, whipped cream and caramel sauce on top. Let's give this a taste. Delicious. You get a nice coffee flavour in there, you get a little bit of sweetness from the caramel flavour, although you can't really tell that it's a salted caramel, it just kind of seems like normal caramel flavour. So next up I've got a few of the dessert items as well, so let me show you what i got. So first up is a Christmas Star Biscuit. So this is a biscuit coated in chocolate with sugar sprinkles. Let's give this a try. Mmm. So I really like that, that's really delicious. You get the sweet chocolate flavor on the outside. And the biscuit inside is sort of 
shortbready in taste. It's really buttery. Mm. So this was one pound and five pence, and it's definitely worth it. You should get one of these. So next up, I got the Christmas tree biscuit. So this is gingerbread biscuit with chocolate coating on the outside, sugar sprinkles, and some icing decoration. Let's give this a try. Let's bite straight into the star. Mm. You've got a really crunchy gingerbread biscuit on the inside. You can definitely taste the ginger flavor in there. It's pretty strong and there's a bit of a kick at the back of your throat as well. The chocolate adds a bit of sweetness on the outside and the icing star on the outside was lovely and sweet too. So this is a good Christmas tree biscuit. Mm. And this cost one pound and five pence too. So this is a regular vanilla fairy bun dipped in fondant icing with sugar sprinkles and an icing decoration on top. Let's give this a taste. Mm. So you get the sweet icing when you bite into it. That's got a really good sugary flavor. You've got the spongy vanilla fairy cake under it as well. It combines together really nicely. So last but not least, I have the mince pie. This comes in at 60 pence, so one of the cheaper options. I have a bit of a confession. I'm not the biggest fan of mince pies. I think it's just the filling that I don't like. So it's not so much the flavor. I think it's the texture of the raisins in it. So this is a pie casing on the outside and your classic Christmas mince meat filling on the inside with a little bit of dusted icing sugar on top. This looks pretty good actually. I'm gonna give this a taste, but I have a feeling that I'm not really gonna like it, but let's have a go anyway. Here it goes. It's not too bad actually. The pastry on the outside is a short crust one, so it crumbles when you bite into it. And it's nice and buttery too. The filling on the inside is really sweet, and you don't actually get that much whole raisins in there which I think is pretty good for me because I don't like the texture of the raisins. You get more of like a minced meat flavor jam instead. So this is not too bad. I quite like it actually. I prefer this one actually to the big ones where you get whole raisins and fruits inside and it's just the texture that I don't like. But this is more of a jam inside it. So I quite like this one. So what is my final verdict on the new Christmas items from Greg's? Well, actually I think they were pretty good my favourite out of the lot of them was the pigs under blanket baguette. That was amazing. The sausage and bacon in there, you can definitely taste the flavour of the cranberry sauce as well. And you get the onion stuffing, really delicious flavours in that. That's a must get if you go to Greg's. The festive bake was amazing too. You get the chicken on the inside, the sage and onion stuffing flavour, a bit of sweetness from the cranberry and then a bit of salty from the bacon as well. And the crumb on the outside was really crunchy which adds that good crunchy texture to the bake. The Christmas star biscuit was one of my favourites. Really nice biscuit on the inside that was buttery in flavour and then you've got the creamy chocolate on the outside. The Christmas bun was great too for me, so you got nice sweet icing on the top and the vanilla flavoured fairy bun underneath it. Really delicious. The vegan options were probably not my favourite. If I had a choice, I'd get the meat ones instead of the vegan ones. I'd quite like to give the other festive coffees a try as well. Although this salted caramel flavour latte was pretty good, I think they have a mint chocolate mocha and a mint hot chocolate as well. I'd quite like to try those to see what they're like if I go again. Okay, so if you liked any of the items that I tried today, click on the thumbs up icon below. Click on subscribe to come along for the next journey, and I'll see you in the next video.